love you, mom. You know, I love you. And I just want to tell her that I'll be home soon. And I'm going to do everything I can to be out here. I've been doing this 47 years now, and this is the most hope I've seen in a population in a level four facility in my entire tenure in the, in the department. Just like you, I sat in here blues. Just like you, I wanted to get out. Just like you, I was caught up in a bunch of mess, made a lot of bad decisions. And then when the opportunity came for me to go home, I had in my mind what I wanted to do. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I had in my mind that I wanted to help people like me that were in jail and prison, that had been in juvenile hall, that felt like there was no other way out, that felt like nobody understood them, that felt like the world was against them. I want to help people like me to understand that that's not true, that there are people out there that genuinely care for them and want to see them, see them succeed. And I thought, what more powerful messenger would it be than people who have been in their shoes? This is about you all and the hard work you've put in for your graduation today. So let me just say it warmed my heart to see uh, brotherhood today, to see your families come in. Yeah, we're good to Mercer. Oh, yeah. Always good to Mercer. Everybody's family giving us a chance to shake hands with you all. Like, we don't get this all the time. Lisa, cake, ice cream, all the sodas. You know, in the yard, it's just, it's not that we don't get that feeling. I was a drug addict without any insight. I was a criminal without any hope of the future. I was all these things. Now I'm somebody who actually has a little bit of hope. I got my GED, I got a group of friends who hold me accountable. I'm working on a college degree. I'm participating in like three or four different self-help programs in here. And for some reason, everybody elected me to uh, get up here and speak. <laughs> um, we regret it. <laughs> Doing good, man. Doing good. I have goals today. I have both. And for that, I am truly indebted. I feel like the gang members anonymous, which is part of the ARC program, and show me that I have more of an addiction to the lifestyle, the gang lifestyle, the criminal lifestyle. You know, I stand out all night, I'm addicted to that. Being honest with you, far in my neighborhood, that's something to look up to. You know, the most uh, criminal minded, the most. You know, dangerous the most things like that, so I fell in love with that. So now that I know that that's my problem, now that's what I can work on. That's where I can work on my change at. And that's where I see the whole change in myself. I don't think that that way anymore. I don't want to go home and do that no more. I don't want to be the leader of a gang. I want to lead a family. I want to lead an honest life. I want to be a member of society. I want to make my mom proud. Me being a part of the Hope and Redemption team. Like, this is me righting my wrongs. Now, listen to this. Like, I've never given my mother things to tell her baby boy, I'm proud of you. Being on this team, coming back in here and having these graduations, and dressing up to, you know what I'm saying? But my mother tells me, son, I'm proud of you. Like, you can see somebody like Jamil, who's been in these situations like this, who's done a couple of decades in here, and they let him back in here. That's like unbelievable. I've seen like every two weeks, you know what I mean? He's short every day, you know? He's giving us like tips on how we can get ourselves up out of here. Cause, and it's believable because he got himself out of here. It's proof. And I think the one difference that makes this program so impactful and so different is that it's led by someone who walked the day in the life of their shoes who's now on the other side of that wall, who's living that reality that hope and redemption is something that life doesn't 
Products of broken homes and shattered dreams. No one showed us how we could be different. Actions speak loudest. If we want different, we have to be the difference we see. To want is to lack. If we lack change, the recipe is simple. Change. We cannot give what we ourselves do not possess. So if we want the best for our friends, family, and loved ones, we have to be the best for ourselves first. The best comes from confronting the channeling of the worst. Prison is a very dark place, yet everything, even the darkness, has its wonders and serves its purpose. Pressure busts pipes, and pressure can bust a man wrestling with his conscience. But pressure and darkness is what makes diamonds. I always tell inmates, don't trip over what's behind you. Do not let that happen to you. You are so much more than your, than your conviction. And this is a small representation of that. This is one piece of that foundation to your journey home. Understand that the most important thing that you can give back to your family is you. I love you, mom. You know, I love you. Everything that I did is not your fault. You know, I just want her to know that I remember everything she ever does for me. I remember every place she ever took me. I remember every hug, every I love you. You know what I mean? I remember all of that. She's the, the reason that I do everything that I do. And it's extraordinary. I'm so mad at myself. And I love her. I took myself out of life. She missed me. I miss her too. So I just want to tell her that. I'll be home soon, and I'm going to do everything I can to be out of here. Love you. Thank you. Thank you.